I'm Jenny Brocky. Tonight on Insight, twins. What was your reaction when you found out that you had cancer as well? Well, this is probably not a normal reaction, but I kind of smiled at the doctor and gave a little giggle and I said, oh, this has become a twin thing, you know. <laughs> and I said, I have an identical twin who had just been diagnosed. And um, he said, that's why you gave that reaction. And I said, yeah, that's why, because um, it had become a twin thing. Did you go through the treatment together at the same time? Um, surgery was not that far apart. Um, Marlene was going through chemotherapy and then um, when that finished, my radiation started at exactly the same. We caught up. So we I caught yeah. up. We caught up in our treatment. <laughs> mm. So our radiation um, treatment was at the same time. Yeah, at the same hospital. Um, so. They put us on different machines because they didn't want to confuse us. They made different support, different appointment times for us. Marlene would go in the morning. I would go in my lunch break because I um, worked close to the hospital. And um, it was always fascinating that uh, I, you know, that I was there just after Marlene. Mm. So yeah, we went through that together. And how are you both now? Good, good, yeah. We're now, we've been given, well, I think the all clear. Five years now. Five so, years. So um, uh, just uh, now regular, you know, yearly checkups. Um, we're down to that. So, yeah, no, we're, I think we're doing okay. Uh, Jennifer, <clears throat> you're here with your twin, Julie, and, uh, and we talked to you last week about teaching, but I want to talk to you about health this week um, because, Jennifer, you had bre breast cancer, but Julie didn't. Um, when was it diagnosed? In 2012. And before that, what were your medical histories like? Were they similar or different? or Pretty much similar. We'd both had uh, thyroid problems in the past. Julie actually developed that in our teenage years, and I was quite a few years after her. Um, so we did have that in common, but um, otherwise very healthy. Yeah. Julie, how did you react to the diagnosis, to Jennifer's diagnosis? I can relate to the feelings of guilt. I felt really guilty that it wasn't me. Um, it was horrific, horrendous. Mm. It was the, the time when I needed to be away from her, actually, because I coped better if I didn't see it. Mm. And why did you feel the guilt? because I couldn't understand why it happened to her and not me. Sorry, I, can't, I still can't talk about it without crying. Yeah, no, that's OK. You don't have to talk about it if you don't, if you don't want to. Yeah, it was You're really, right? really tough. Mm. Um, given that you are identical, did you have any thoughts about why it might be that one of you... I blame the alcohol. Jennifer <laughs> drinks, I don't. No, I'm kidding, I have taken it up since. <laughs> but no, that, I mean, we grew up in the same home, we went to the same school, we did all the same things. It's very difficult to explain. Perhaps the fact that Jennifer had identical twins herself, the hormones, who knows? Mm. She did a lot of breast pumping when she was a new mum that I didn't do. I had my children a couple of years younger than her. So you've gone mm. through a lot yeah. of things in your mind yep. about what it might be. John, what do these stories tell us about breast cancer? Because you're particularly interested in that in relation to twins. First of all, they tell you how lucky these people are to have a twin. Um, guy Tom Mack in the United States has done some fascinating research. We think that early life events, much earlier than what you were talking about, especially around the time when breasts develop, might be very important for breast cancer risk. And he did a very special study where he asked twins to report on each other who, who went through puberty first, who developed their breasts first, who was taller, who was heavier. And these factors differentiated the twins who went on, like the pair we've just been talking to, where one got breast cancer and the other didn't. So we could never have done a study like that by asking people questions about their age at puberty and what they were because we just would get not informative questions, not, not informative answers, but by having twins who would be, and you can tell me if that's true or not, aware of what those issues were at the time of your life during that incredibly important development of breast stage, then they can answer questions and give us microscopes on what's going on.